Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And we're taking a look today at Google's newly announced app. It's called Inbox and it's another email app. So it was created by the Gmail team and it's not necessarily supposed to be the ultimate replacement for Gmail. It's kind of an inbox or an email app that's for people looking for a little something different. So if you're familiar with Mailbox, Mailbox is an app, uh, an email app that's, uh, that I've actually been using for quite a while, I really like it, but the point is that it turns your inbox sort of into a task manager. So rather than just looking at email as being traditional email, uh, where you get it, reply to it, do all this stuff, um, a lot of us use email to get things done. And so with Mailbox, you could snooze uh, email emails for later, you could you know dismiss them, swipe them into lists, uh, mark them as completed rather than just read or delete them and things like that. So this new app inbox kind of does the same thing. It is, it really is a lot like mailbox. So it's invite only, which is unfortunate. And the invite system is kind of closed right now, uh, but we did get one. And so we wanted to take you guys on a tour of inbox. So as you can see here, I've got what looks like a semi-traditional inbox layout. And this is, you know, the main page of inbox. Uh, it says inbox. I've got a list of emails that have come in, um, but you'll notice there's some, some different things going on here. Like there's a reminder icon. There's a promos icon. Um, there's a little toggle up here for pinned items search. You do have the floating button down here that when pressed, it shows you who you maybe have emailed recently in case you want to do that again or set up a reminder or even compose a new message. And then obviously you have a hamburger menu layout as well. So you can swipe out and uh, you can actually do a drop down to get to different accounts if you can. At this time, it only supports personal Gmail accounts, not Google Apps accounts. So uh, you might be somewhat limited there. Uh, but when you sort of get in here, you've got a few different sections. You've got obviously your inbox, you have a snoozed option, you have a done option, which is kind of like archiving. Um, then you have drafts sent, reminders, you can see trash, spam. And then you also have all these categories now. Well, Google's calling them bundles, if you will. So you have one for travel and, and uh, purchases and finance and social and promotions and stuff like that. So you guys have seen some of these previously. Google introduced, I believe it was updates, forums, promos, and social a while ago. And a lot of people didn't like that and actually got rid of them. Um, those are here again, uh, but you also have all these new ones, like I said, for travel and uh, things like that. And then you have all your own old labels and lists. If you're like me and have just tons of those in general, you have those as well. Um, so let's jump in through each one of these, or at least a few of these to show you what we're going on here. So the traditional uh, inbox look, this is basically what you get. So I had an email come in and uh, it was a test that I was just sending to show you what it looks like. So, you know, I've got attachments and images in here. You can see who it's from. Um, there's the text uh, the subject up top there. Uh, but then at the very top, you've got some different actionable items. So I could pin this email if it's something I want sort of organized and saved for uh, maybe getting back to you know immediately or a little bit later. I also have a snooze button, which if I press that, it gives me the option to snooze it for later today at a set time, tomorrow, next week, or I could even choose a specific date or place. You'll notice that as well. So that place shows up. So if I wanna be reminded about this email when I uh, arrive at uh, the theater or something like that, you could do that. You could see like a promo email from a theater being that. Uh, I could hit the checkbox and that means I'm done with this email and that goes ahead and archives it. Or I can hit the menu button and then I can decide if I want this in travel or one of these promos or even one of my own self-created uh, folders or something like that. So you kind of get that here. I also drop this down, do reply or forward or there is a quick reply button sort of floating down here. Or if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can just start typing in a reply there, or I can hit the forward button and forward the email on. Kind of a traditional email setup, but again, a little bit different. Now I've got some other things going on here. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm done with this email and I forgot to tap an option while in that email, I can actually swipe it away and that will archive it and check it done. Or I can swipe this way and actually snooze it for later or again, per location or something like that. So you can see there's 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 a whole bunch of different things going on here. Now, I also have these uh, reminders set up in here. So I've got a reminder set, and reminders actually go into your pinned area, so they kind of sit there, if you will. And when you're done with one, you can check the box or you can snooze it for later as well. Same thing from this page, you can actually swipe them away if you're done with them or snooze them for later. And then we'll actually go into the pinned area. So you can see I've got this thing pinned in there in case it's something I need to get to. 
um, at a later date. And you can actually pin emails as well. So I could pin this email and then you can actually make a little note or a reminder in there and then you'll see it there as well. A whole bunch, a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, so let me just show you though, if I sort of swipe that away, it's now done and I'm done with that email. And so then I can sort of get on to the next one and you kind of see where this thing is going. Now where things get interesting is when you look in, like let's go into this promo area. So I had a couple of emails today that were bundled together into this promo section. And so ordered some jeans and I got a status update on those. So I can sort of scroll through and look at that. Um, now I also got an email about a run that I have upcoming this weekend. So it's bundling these together in this sort of promo section. Um, so a couple of cool things here. Uh, one thing, if you're in a bundle or in an area and you're in an email, you can actually swipe down and you'll see that will take you basically back up one level. So I'll do that one more time just in case you miss that, but this is really cool. So you swipe down and then basically it says back to promos and I'm now out of there. And from in the promos, I can do that as well. I can swipe down and that will take me back to inbox. So it kind of takes you back from one layer to another. Really, really cool animation there. Um, so some other things though, uh, if you're in the main inbox, you can see there's a sort of a button up here that says check and that's kind of a check all button. You'll see one down here that I'm showing from September as well. Uh, basically, if you tap that, it says uh, you're sweeping everything away that fits under that category of today. So if you just want to mass sweep away a whole bunch of emails, you can do that just by tapping um, that box up there. So again, lots and lots and lots of stuff. So another thing you may want to do is tell one of these to maybe not show up in promotions anymore. You just want it to show up in your inbox and not be bundled. So you can actually do that. If you uh, jump in the email and jump up to menu, there's actually a remove from promos option. And so you can tell it down here at the bottom to um, always do that or maybe just do this one. That sort of went away. But so basically now that's never going to, or at least that email is not gonna show up in there, but maybe some in the future will. If I were to tap that again, and I'll just, I'll show you with this one. So keep an eye on the bottom here. I can say always do this. And that means whenever I get one from that, a particular email address, I'm not gonna have that show up. And so you can see I'm now back in my inbox. Since I told both of those to no longer be in promotions, they're now sort of separated out. So I'm actually gonna uh, go back and select these now, because you can select multiples. And I am gonna tell these to be in promos. And so we'll put those back in promos. Um, but if we jump back into promos, some other things in here, uh, you do have settings. So in each one of your bundles, again, these are called bundles, you do have a settings. So if you're looking at a bundle with a bunch of emails in it, you do have settings for that. So you can sort of tweak those. Uh, you also have a multi sweep away here of bundles as well. So I just tap that. It says I marked all those red and they have now been swept away. Uh, so that's sort of the basic idea here. Everything's bundled. Um, you can snooze things for later by location or time. You can, um, you, you know, you've got quick contacts that you've been that you've been dealing with lately. Uh, there's lots of reminders set up in here. Um, obviously, you have all of your categories and all that stuff. And again, you'll have multi-account support soon. Um, you do have a snooze section, so if you've snooze something, it will show up in there. And uh, if you want to get back to that, you can, uh, you know, move it into pinned or um, you can basically say whatever you want to do with it, right? So you have a whole bunch of control. It basically turns, again, your inbox into sort of a task manager um, that tries to help you get um, things done. And so when you get done with everything, and I'm actually going to go ahead and snooze this uh, for later today. Um, Yep, everything snoozed, got it. So once you get done, you actually are left with this really sunny, um, so in mailbox, we call it inbox zero. I don't know what we're calling it in inbox for uh, Google or for Gmail, but you get this sort of sunny thing that basically says like, yeah, you're done for the day. Um, you know, so I can go through and I'll just show you like in the travel bundle to show you sort of what's going on in here. And again, it tells you up here what this is. So travel bundle includes travel related email and all that good stuff, right? So got it. Um, so you can see like, you know, my mom's coming to see me. So she sent me an, a, a flight email and that's showing up in there. I'm headed to New York for the Droid Turbo event. Uh, so you can see I've got plans in here. So here's like my Delta flight information. It shows this sort of beautiful card all the way above my actual Delta flight email. 
And then again, I can do that really cool swipe animation and get in. And you know, I've got the hotel I'm staying at. Here's another trip I was on when I went to Vegas. So all this stuff is bundled in here. Um, so I should be able to, you know, easily find it at a later time. You know, and that works with all this stuff from, from promos to updates. You'll just see all kinds of different information. Now, obviously, you have to sort of manage these and you have to get the correct emails showing up, you know, where you want and need them to. Um, but you should get like shipment information should all come through there. And there's really cool just sort of graphics and animations and things going on throughout this entire email. It's, uh, it's very well done. I really hope it comes to Google Apps soon because my Gmail account, or my Droid Life account is the one I actually use more often. Uh, than not. Uh, and so I, I believe this is also pulling in all of your reminders and things like that from uh, from Google Keep. So if you set those up in there and you attach them to your Gmail account that's attached to Inbox, I believe they'll show up in there as well. Uh, again, overall, this is a really, really cool start to a new uh, sort of way of thinking with Gmail. And uh, we're pretty excited to see where it goes. This is just the first day with it. We'll obviously have some, some additional thoughts maybe later on. This is just a quick tour to show you what we're looking at as of right now. All right, and so that's, uh, that's basically it. So if you guys have comments, questions, or again, want us to take a look at anything else, uh, be sure to let us know. Uh, for now, we are Droid Life, and we're out. Peace.